What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We're back with that compost pile that we messed with three days ago. We added some grass clippings to it. Let's turn it, see if we can heat that pile back up and get it breaking down faster so we can use it next week. All right guys, so this pile's been cooking for three days now. And like we said, on the third day, we're gonna turn it so this pile gets oxygen and can heat back up. So the first two days it really heated up with the green grass clippings. And the third day it's really starting to cool down. So we're gonna take it, move it from this side over to back where it was, which is gonna mix up all the materials in there and reheat it up because on the outside, if you see here, there's still a bunch of green grass clippings. So we're not gonna need to add any grass clippings to it. We're just gonna need to remix it up, add oxygen to the pile, maybe add some water, we'll see. It's already got the carbon in it, and it's already got the nitrogen in it. So as long as we have those four things, remember, water, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, we're gonna make a nice compost pile. And right now it's got everything except the oxygen. It's depleting the oxygen, so let's add some more, some more oxygen. It's warm on the middle of this pile. Not screaming hot, not an ouch hot, but it's definitely warm. And the material is a little dry, so I'm gonna add some water to it. So in the video I did three days ago about this, when I first initially put the grass clippings in this pile, I really wanted to stress the point about how to build the pile, how to build it in levels, like a lasagna. This video, I really want to stress the point of what kind of materials you need to use and the shape it needs to be. So like we said, we've got water, we just added water. We've got carbon in the leaves. We've got nitrogen, in the, a little bit in the leaves and most of it in the green grass clippings and then oxygen, which we add every time we turn the pile. Now it's really hard to get oxygen in the pile if you don't turn it. I've heard some people put like um, PVC um, with holes in it all throughout the PVC, put it in the middle of the pile, and so it can breathe that way. Never done it before, can't tell you if it works, can't tell you if it doesn't work. But it may be an option for you. But three foot by three foot by three foot is the smallest you can have it, the smallest. The bigger, the better. The bigger, the faster it's gonna heat up. The more microbiology, the more microorganisms, the more bacteria will be in that pile. Pretty much what we're doing here, guys, is permaculture. We're, we're, we're looking at nature. How does nature do something? We're replicating that and speeding it up a little bit. Just like someone, I put in a food forest. There's things you can do to food forest to speed the progress up of that food forest. Planting nitrogen fixers, planting deep tap-rooted plants that you can chop and drop like comfrey, uh, planting, uh, knowing how to chop your trees, your fruit trees, knowing how to cut your fruit trees, knowing how to take off the fruit for your fruit trees the first few years. There's things you can do to a food forest or an orchard that you can speed up the process a lot faster than Mother Nature. I know Mother Nature does it right, but we can observe it and we can tweak it just a little bit and we can speed it up just a little bit. That's all we're doing with this, this compost. We are done. Now, I wanted to get this done in seven days. I am not sure if we're gonna get it done in seven days. It's been three right now. We got two more to wait, and then we'll turn it. That'd be five. And we got two more, and we'll turn it again. On that seventh day, when we turn it and we look at it, if it doesn't look good to be able to use it in a couple of days after the seven days, guess what we're gonna do? Not use it. We're gonna turn it again yeah that's the best thing you can do for it 
just because you have a deadline on when you want to use it doesn't mean you should use it if it's not ready so make sure it's ready to the consistency that you want to use it there's different levels of ready in compost like it's ready right now if I technically want to use it and top dress it around plants it would be perfect for that stuff but I want to get it finer I want to break it down a little bit more so the nutrients that are in that material will be readily available for the plants when we put it on the ground so remember guys keep your pile at a three foot by three foot by three foot volume at all times the one thing we're going to do to help with that this time is we're going to cover it we didn't cover it last time so the chickens got on it they kicked it apart they threw stuff around so the volume changed very quickly within a day so we're going to cover it this time so the chickens don't mess with it it keeps our volume we've got all the all the materials in there that we need the water the carbon the oxygen the nitrogen we just need time now later guys